the prices of GPUs continues to plummet. Are the prices now stabilized or can you expect the prices to continue to fall? Is this the time to buy or should you wait? Let's get into it. The GPU market continues to see the prices of GPUs fall month after month. Nvidia launched the RTX 50 series earlier this year without much supply and it created a scalper and bot frenzy that drove up prices way beyond the claimed MSRPs. Here we are eight months after the CES announcement and we can see the MSRP pricing is now available and even under MSRP for some. To recap, in April we saw some GPUs come back into stock and that eliminated the need for the new egg shuffle. Then in May, all the GPUs came back into stock and were plentiful, just with high prices. June saw a sliding of the prices, but we only saw the new 8GB GPUs with MSRP pricing. Now I didn't cover July since the Amazon Prime sales led to some very dynamic pricing on GPUs. However, in August, we are finally seeing the best prices of the year. Let's start with a 5090. Looking at Newegg and only looking at new GPUs, not open box variants, you can now get a 5090 for MSRP. That's right. I don't know how long this deal will last, but this is the first 5090 I've seen at Newegg at MSRP. This is a massive price drop. In June, the lowest price of a 5090 was $2,759. And two months later, MSRP at $1,999. That's over $750 cheaper. You can bet I jumped on that deal. Even if that deal doesn't last, the prices overall on 5090s has been coming down. In June, there were only four models just under $3,000. Now you have six models under $2,500. That is a massive downward price movement for the 5090. And you see a similar trend at Micro Center where they have just marked down the prices of many 5090 models. Right now, you can get a PNY 5090 for $2,199. That's 10% higher than MSRP and the lowest price for 5090s on shelves this year at Micro Center. And they have eight models under $2,500. So once the 5090s were available and back in stock in May, it seemed that the $3,000 price tag, that's $1,000 over or 50% higher than MSRP, it was the new norm. But the slide in prices continued to MSRP in just three months. That shows a problem for NVIDIA. It seems the AI bros have slowed down their purchasing of 5090s. So what happened? What could have caused this sharp drop off in price? Well, in March at GTC, NVIDIA announced the RTX Pro 6000 Blackwell workstation card. That's a mouthful. That GPU has 96 gigabytes of VRAM, but it didn't become more widely available to purchase until about June. So either the AI bros found the 32 gigabytes of VRAM in the 5092 limiting, or they're waiting for the less expensive professional GPUs from AMD or the new Arc Pro GPUs from Intel. Either way, without the demand from AI bros to keep the 5090 prices high, it seems there is not as many gamers willing to part with three large just for a GPU to game. Imagine if you purchased your shiny new 5090 for 3000 or more and then watch prices continually drop month after month after month. That can't feel good. I know I would feel burned by Nvidia. There is only one price collapse I can think of that is larger than this one and that was with the 3090 Ti. That GPU was priced at $2000 in late March of 2022 and by early September the price was almost half. Next is the 5080 and on Newegg, they have one model available for MSRP at $999. They have another model at $1199 and four additional models at $1299 and the rest go up above over $1600. Looking at Micro Center, you can also now get a 5080 for MSRP at $999. This is the first time this year I have seen the 5080 for MSRP at Newegg or Micro Center. MSRP days are finally here for the 5080. The 5080 with half the shaders of the 5090 can only sell when it is about half the price of the 5090. Moving on to the 5070 Ti, Newegg has two GPUs at the MSRP of 749. They have four models between 800 and 850 and the rest are in that familiar $900 to $1,000 price range that we have become accustomed to seeing with the 5070 Ti. Micro Center also has a model available at the MSRP of $749, then it jumps to $800 where there are a couple models available. 
If the 5080s are available for $999, then the 5070 Ti is going to be price constrained to around $800 plus or minus $50 price range. Now the 5070 is available at MSRP at Newegg with five models at $549 and another six models under $600. There has been a big downward shift in the 5070 prices over the last two months. In June, there was one model at $599. Now there are 11 models at $599 and below. You can also see the downward shift in prices at Micro Center, where they also have MSRP prices for four models and another seven models under $600. The story on the 5060 Ti is twofold. For the 16 gigabyte version at Newegg, there was one model at MSRP of $429 and a $20 rebate getting you below MSRP. But before you could say, hey, I want to get that one, it quickly disappears and you're left with models in the prices in the mid to upper $400 range. These tend to sell out very quickly, but if you're patient, you can usually catch one of these at MSRP, at Newegg, Micro Center, or Best Buy. For the eight gigabyte version of the 5060 Ti, Newegg has three models at 339 using the rebate card. It seems that in order to sell the eight gigabyte models, they need to increase the price differential with the 16 gigabyte versions to more than $50. And this should be no surprise, Way back when I did my price assessment on the RTX 40 series, I explained why a $50 Delta is not enough and it needs to be at least $70 to $80. Micro Center is dropping the prices of the 8GB version even more to as low as $329. Comparing that with the lowest price 16GB version, that's a $100 Delta. The 5060 is back at MSRP pricing at $299 after some deals in July that were under MSRP and Micro Center is still selling two models at $279. Finally, the 5050. This GPU quietly launched in July and has been trickling into stock with several models. At Newegg, it is available at MSRP for $249, and I will say, don't buy it for that price. This GPU with just 2560 shaders should be under $200. If you can get one open box for $199, like this one at Micro Center, that is as high a price I would pay. With the price drops on the higher-end GPUs, NVIDIA has also sweetened the offer with Borderlands 4. On August 18th, NVIDIA announced the Borderlands 4 bundle for free with the purchase of any 5070 and above GPU while supplies last. To sum up, MSRP or better pricing on every NVIDIA GPU arrived in the third week of August in 2025. But what about AMD? Other than the 9060 XT with eight gigabytes of VRAM, that has been on sale for as low as $249 or $50 under MSRP. The prices of the other three RDNA 4 GPUs are still above MSRP pricing. The 16 gigabyte version of the 9060 XT is at least $379, including the shipping cost, which is $30 above MSRP at Newegg, and $369 at Micro Center. The lowest price of the 9070 is $599, which is $50 above MSRP and the lowest price 9070 XT is $699, which is $100 above MSRP. With all three of these GPUs, we have not seen MSRP pricing after launch day. For the 16 gigabyte GPUs, the lowest price has not changed since my last update two months ago in June. I will be interested to see if AMD is going to respond to Nvidia's price drops and if we will see MSRP pricing on 16 gigabyte AMD GPUs, or if they will have their own game bundles offered as well. Lastly, what about Intel? I was curious about Intel, and it seems the prices at Newegg for the B570 and B580 are $10 above MSRP. At Micro Center, the B580, limited edition, is available at MSRP with other models $10 more. However, a B570 is $10 below MSRP and open box versions can be had for as little as $175. Now that is a very interesting price. I'm gonna to have to get one of these Intel GPUs to see if they are worth consideration for an entry level build. I have been on the lookout for some deals. For me, the GPU fund doesn't start until the prices become reasonable. And for the first time this year, I have been able to find some reasonable deals. Subscribe for notifications for when I review the performance, power scaling, and which CPUs will bottleneck this generation of GPUs. I'll also analyze how they truly compare to previous generations and how does the performance and efficiency of these latest GPUs compare 
with the latest M4 Max. For all the price volatility for GPUs we have seen this year, the M4 Max have been the lowest and most stable all year long. What a crazy market. With all the price drops over the summer, is now a good time to buy a GPU. That's highly dependent on your situation. There were rumors in July of a super refresh coming within the next six months, and also rumors for a potential B770 Battle Mage card from Intel. With GPUs getting down to MSRP pricing, that's probably going to be as good as it gets until there is a super refresh. If you need to get a GPU, this may not be a bad time to get one, but that is if you need to get a GPU. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.